Apri Inspector for Victoria. We're at Collingwood Children's Farm and uh, we've packed down our beehives a couple um, about a month ago down to one or two boxes and what we're wondering right. now uh, have the hives got enough honey stores uh, do we need to feed them over winter and uh, so maybe you could give us an idea what we could look for particularly uh, judging the weight of the hive from by lifting it up thanks Joe okay thanks if, if I didn't know um, whose hives they were at all, I've just come across these hives. The first thing I'd be looking for from, from as far as an apron inspector is, is there any evidence of, of any robbing? So any evidence of why this hive might be weak? There's obviously no evidence of robbing. Um, little, bits of, little bits of wax at the front is usually a, a fair indicator that the hive has been robbed or is being robbed. And, high, and, and bees hanging around the back, particularly robber bees with their legs hanging. They're looking for somewhere to land. Important when you go to muck around with hives too is never wear dark clothing like <laughs> I've got on at the moment. Um, but just lifting that up, um, that's got a bit of weight to it. It's a 10 frame box though, so the box of components can take up a fair bit of that weight. But it feels like there's a bit of weight there anyway. Um, there's not a lot of bees flying, but I'll be looking to see if the bees are bringing any, pol any pollen still as well. But I, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too faced about this one's got a fair bit of weight. So it's a pretty quick test. It's a single, it's got a bit of weight in it. I wouldn't be too concerned about it, but there's no evidence of, of robbing, even though it's 100% cloud cover. It's above 13 degrees, there are still bees working that. Again, with this one, there's, there's weight there. Probably what a good idea is to go around it every, every couple of weeks and just get a bit of a feel. If one of them starts to get quite light, or um, you're not noticing too much activity. Yeah. It's just to quickly crack the lid, and we just have a look under there and see if there's any um, any bees in the top. And that that one's a little bit lighter, and I'd be mo I'd monitor that one. You might look at coming into the winter time, use dry feeding it with a little bit of um, polystyrene tray with some dry sugar or some sugar syrup. Particularly, uh, feeding's probably uh, more important once you get past the shortest day then you're starting to stimulate your bees as well. So you want to stimulate your bees, you want to make sure that there's something out there for them on a sunny day. Otherwise, if you stimulate them and you have got a weak hive, this hive that's starting to get really worked up, the queen's starting to lace, you may, they may start looking to try to rob as well. So um, that whole thing of once you get past the shortest day, um, then you, sugar feeding's uh, really good. That one's got a bit of weight too. Again. I won't do it. I, w I won't do it now. I oh, know we've got visitors have just gone. A couple of little kids over there. Okay, we'll go back to a lighter one here. Yeah. A little bit lighter. We don't want to be opening it up and um, disturbing the bees or chilling the brood. A really easy way is just as careful as you can. Lift the lid up. There's no activity here. So, just carefully bring this up. There's a few bees between the frames there, and they've got their tail in the air, so we just put that down carefully. But they're not, there's only three or four frames that they're really covering there. So over the next week, as soon as you get a sunny day, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be thinking about shaking those bees down into that bottom box, marking this hive, hive A or number one, mm -hmm. I'm marking this box here number one or A, whatever way you want to term it. Take this box off, bees out of here, put that box in your shed, and then when, when you come into springtime, when the bees are stimulated, putting this box with these frames back on this hive. Why do you want to put the same, like keep it together from that side? Does it matter? That, that's, that's just part of a, a barrier technique of, of um, bis basically, it's individual biosecurity. Yeah. If they do have any. If there, if there was any American fowl brood spores, that way you're not cross-contaminating other hives. So monitoring mo monitoring the weight of the hive, but I'd certainly, as soon as we get another sunny day, I'd, I'd be looking at taking that top box off there. Mm -hmm. And I'd be doing the same for these other ones. WSBs, like with this one, or half depth, it's a little bit, it, it's, it's a little bit lighter. Do the same thing here. Mostly empty, a few, yeah. a few ants too. Now there's a few, 
few bees here on this top one, this one's extracted, yes. I'd be taking this box off. Mm. Yep. I think we put that on to give them... Just to clean it out? To clean it out and okay. take the honey off. And I'll, again, I won't... Because Do it, it now, yeah. We're yeah. looking at a, quite a cool day. I won't muck around with that too much. We, we could actually... So that's what they've done, what we wanted them to do, actually. They've cleaned they've out... They've done what you wanted them to do? I think that's what that um, bits of wax there uh, is. Okay. Yeah. We'll leave that until you get a sunny day. Mm -hmm. Because... There's, there's no need to antagonise them. We don't want to chill them. Mm. And next week we should break into a few frosty days, so just a, a, it's only a, a 10 minute job to take those off and mm. remove those. Um, and then going around and feeling the weight. Now that one, that one feels quite, quite heavy, mm -hmm. quite good. See, they're, they're quite, it's not a very good day. You can see even their behaviour there at the front. They're, um, they're, they're not going to be very pleasant to um, mm. deal with. Well, thanks for that, uh, Joe. Has anyone got any specific questions they'd like to ask Joe? A suitable day to take something off, and then we're getting late in the season now. What would you think about slipping a hive mat between the top box and the, the bottom box? Um, you could put a hive mat, but but they're still trying to heat that second box too. The hive mat's not going to fully contain. No, but it will help to retain uh, some of the heat. A mat certainly will help, yeah. Yep. Um, if, there's, if there's bees in the top box and you can't get them down all into the bottom, is that what you're saying? Yeah. No, if you can't get su a suitable conditions to take the top box oh, off to sorry, yes. off. Yeah. If you slipped a hive mat in between, at least then the bees are allowed to go down themselves. And while it doesn't resolve the situation of having two boxes for heat off the hive totally, yeah. it helps to heat them up that little bit more just by having that hive mat there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, a hive mat's a good idea. And that's what, yeah, that's what we've done here actually. We put, yeah, the hive, hive mat. we put the hive mat on top of the excluder. Yep. Yep. The, the hive mat's a good idea because at least your box is staying on top of your, your hive as well. So mm. then, then, then naming your boxes or, or numbering them one or, or box A. Mm. But um, ultimately to pack them down into that nice little yeah. quiet box is, is probably the, the, the best, but it, it is work intensive as well. One of the problems with the storage too is a small hive beetle and at least it's, it can be managed by a strong hive here than in the shed but at this time of year now once you've got frames off that have got honey small high bill larval activity is pretty well minimal to nothing but um so are you saying that you could actually leave that um top box on over the winter just because it's been you put the hive mat above the brood box and then so insulated the brood box as much as you can. That's one alternative to do. The most favourable is to get them right down into the into the bottom box and, yeah. and pack better, them in nice and tight. That's better than nothing. But, but yeah, better than nothing. And like you've done done that with this as well. But yeah. but you need a nice sunny day to be able to. You're actually where you've got bees in the top box. You want to shake those bees or brush those bees yeah. off those frames into that bottom box. Close so that box up and get that super into the shed. Mm. There is nothing in here. It's like this is like having a heater running in your house, and you've got an empty room that you don't use, and you've left the door open. Yeah. Um, it's just it's a waste. Of energy. It's, a waste it's a waste of their energy, and they'll burn a lot of that honey down in that bottom box, heating an empty box at the top. Okay. Th thanks very much uh, for your advice, Joe.